What's going on, everybody? So today we are back with a Hell 5, some identifying to do, because I have quite a few items in my stash here, um, and Parion 240 is rapidly approaching. Now, normally, I'd be at the uh, 240 already, just because I'd be grinding, you know, hours upon hours. But as I've mentioned in a bunch of previous videos, I have been struggling to actually get a group, um, and that's been really, really unfortunate to me. So it's been a really really hard grind to actually get a group and start farming only because i do not want to go farm solo personally um, it, it's a lot less uh i guess you could say viable in terms of xp i don't have a crazy amount of time but i have been saving my battle pass here so you can see here i am 232 two levels above server paragon and i have three weeks essentially of battle pass a little bit less than three weeks more more like uh, like two and a half because i did claim a little bit and so we're gonna go ahead and claim that and see where that puts us i doubt that that's gonna bring us to 240 uh, but it will go ahead and push us closer the battle pass ends in five days and we also have some more to acquire about 1400 points to acquire which is really really nice so we're gonna just claim this and see where we get end up at uh and let's see where we're at 236 237 puts us at 237 at the end of the day this is at 40 percent experience now normally um as i said i would be about 11 levels above server paragon level is kind of what i wanted to keep my goal at so right now we're going to go and identify a bunch of these items and see where we're at in terms of combat rating this is an exciting time always because you always get to get that huge massive jump of combat rating and hell five this is going to be our last jump of combat rating here so we're gonna identify and see what the exceptional items we end up getting because there's no higher difficulties later on uh you're not going to get the same level of insane insane amounts of combat rating as previous i've even run a bunch of dungeons uh and it looks like we have a couple quad arrows so maybe these are triple stats here but i've run a bunch of dungeons here and i have yet to get a set item um i think i run like 30 dungeons and i got one set item which is just absurd um and then on top of that i have yet to get a triple stat set item they're all they've all been really really awkward like regular stat or exceptional pieces um which is just so so tragic but we did get a couple of up arrows here so let's see this one this is an exceptional um one with 171 172 not bad at all and then we also got a bunch of pretty much garbage pieces i'm not quite sure which ones are the main hand and which ones are the off hand to be honest um they both look very similar to me and i'm not sure familiar on all the icons and the names of the bar items yet this one's going to be 168 159 um again i don't know if this is going to be an off hand or main hand i guess i can look um i guess it's i should see the remembered if it is a off hand which i do not see there is the off hand here paste and powder is the first one and then we also have some chess pieces 170 170 which actually is an upgrade so something to note 160 171 167 159 triple arrow here 191 186 i'm also looking at some of the magic stats when we actually get some of these triple arrows because these ones are honestly sometimes more important than the stats themselves uh but it really only matters because the magic stats don't really pop up until you have a quad arrow like this uh this one's going to be our quad arrow but it's actually honestly kind of worse than this one over here um it's got a little bit extra combat rating which is something cool but not a huge fan of that one 176 190 here and attack speed and skill damage that's actually really good oh we get ooh a triple stat so we did end up getting a triple set with crit hit damage and skill damage that's actually really really nice this is a really good triple stat uh triple double here i would love to have a triple triple but a triple double is something that i can definitely definitely get on board with and you can see here i do happen to have a few pieces already um it looks like we're gonna go ahead and just replace this pants because we already have um, a better pants that we just picked up this one's a 171 172 and it does have that critical hit uh chance which is really really nice and then we also have a quad up arrow chess piece here um so that means that's going to be our best chess piece unfortunately we did not really get a good offhand um these offhands are just worse than the ones i have right now um we did get a nice set piece ring here and we did get a nice triple stat so those are both really really solid after that we really didn't get a crazy amount we're not going to get a crazy crazy combat rating boost because i have 
been just pretty unlucky in getting some triple stack gear. Um, I have identified a bunch of them already. You can see I already had some gear pieces in the stash already, but I'm going to be farming a bunch of set items here. That's really where it's going to come down to. I have to run a bunch of dungeons to really pick up the pace. We did get a crazy amount of boost here on the barb for the battle pass with this, which is really, really fun. I always enjoy saving the battle pass for a couple of weeks and then popping it. I will be doing the same next month probably with this next battle pass just in case you know i wanted to take a break for a day or so i can just come back and then immediately pop the battle pass and be right back where i was um but definitely super super solid uh i'm i'm happy with with the triple stat that's better than some other identifying uh little transition between hell difficulties that i've gotten before if you've watched my previous videos i have gone way more legendary items farmed and less triple stats which means zero triple stats before which is just absurd. Uh, honestly, after grinding a bunch of dungeons and not receiving a single triple stat set piece, it is really discouraging. I don't know if anyone else out there feels the same, but I farmed so many dungeons. I'm literally talking about in the 700 dungeons farmed, and I still have not gotten a triple stat uh, set item, which is just absurd to me, and it's really discouraging. To get the new, uh, in my opinion, mediocre cosmetic i actually just prefer the herodric uh set which is much better looking in my opinion but super super cool that we're going to go ahead and get to hell five again this is going to be the last combat rating jump there really isn't any more things to push in terms of combat rating or extra difficulties which is um a bittersweet moment because this is cool and getting to hell five but it's also a little sad because i know that it's going to be a while until we have a situation where we're really in super super grind mode I, I know a lot of people including some people in our own clan have sat down and grinded up to 240 about today slash yesterday because they wanted to push to hell five and there it just doesn't seem to be that type of drive anymore uh, for any other further difficulty so i do hope they add something else in the future that encourages paragon level gr grinding outside of just the paragon levels themselves because honestly these are pretty mediocre uh for the most part they do give some solid bonuses and i'll probably have a video on that later on once i've maxed out every single damage node in the game which is going to be about 40 additional for levels and then we'll have every single damage node filled out because you can see i'm getting close to it but definitely a little bittersweet moment because I feel like we've finished all of the progression that we can in the game. Let me know if you feel the same way. I know this is exciting for, it's gonna be exciting for the next couple of days to get pick up some more health five upgrades. And then after that, it'll just be slow grind for extra combat rating and extra magic stats. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit the sub button as well as like the video and I'll see you for the next one.